Tonight I went for a walk. I wanted to go to the gym, but there was no car. Hence why I was walking outside in the middle of the night. And while I was walking, some really powerful thoughts occurred to me. I kept asking myself, what is my purpose? Why am I here on earth? And questions, deep questions like that. And I went back and forth with myself until the thought of love entered my heart. For whatever reason, the thought of self-love occurred to me while I was having these profound moments. One might say I was, I had a glimpse of what enlightenment felt like, whatever that might mean. And I kept telling myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. I kept walking and I kept repeating that sentence. I love myself, I love all parts of myself wholeheartedly. And every time I said it, it became louder. The, the voice, something within me, it became louder and louder until I let out a cry. And it was one of those cries where it's, where you feel like, and not in your heart has just been untied. It's the type of cry that literally sets you free. It's like a freeing feeling. I don't know how else to explain it. And I think that, and once I had this feeling, everything just felt different. Like I just felt utter peace with myself for for once in my life i felt utter peace and i started writing down my thoughts and journaling and then it occurred to me the reason why you escape your reality why you play video games why you self-pleasure why you do all these things is because you lack self-love and when you don't love yourself you can't love anything you can't love anyone else it's like you might have heard of this cliche saying where it's like you cannot truly love anyone until you've loved yourself and that is so true because in order to share joy in order to share this feeling of love you must know what that is inside you how can you share a feeling if, if you've never felt it before? And love is basically a state of consciousness, which I think is the highest state that you could feel. There's there's state of mind such as gratitude and happiness, contentness. Love is at the top, in my opinion. Because when you get that feeling where every moment, every breath that you take is... Your whole being is filled with love. It's a really powerful feeling. Like, think about for a second why people commit crimes. Stealing, murder, all these horrendous crimes. Even backbiting, jealousy. It all stems from lack of love. Think about how powerful that is. Every sin, you could say, stems from lack of love. There's this one saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he said, None of you believes until you love for others what you love for yourself. Until now, I never understood what that truly meant. But I finally understood what that means. It means when you when your essence is filled with so much love that you exuberate you it's like a light that shines onto others because your 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 heart is filled with so much love that you want that love for others that is the peak of consciousness because when you come from a place of love you come from a place of understanding a place of compassion and love will eradicate most of the 
diseases of the heart. Love is the antidote to racism. Love is the antidote to hatred, to bigotry, to biasness. Love is the cure. But it all begins when you love yourself. I encourage anyone watching this video to do this because I never believed in self-affirmations. It's not something I read it in books many times. I've read close to a hundred books. This this thing, self-affirmations, I've read it in so many books, but I never implemented it because I never believed it. But today I saw the power that it has. The transforming effect that it has. I don't know if you have the same feeling as I did, but when you repeat that statement to yourself, it does something. Like if you feel trapped, if you feel like you don't have a purpose, or if you feel lost. When I was having these thoughts, I felt like I could see myself, like from a third person perspective, like I was above myself, even to the point where I was in the sky and all the way when I was in space, like I could visualize myself looking back at myself from like a far distance. And if you really think about it, all these influential people from Abraham to Moses to Jesus to Muhammad, peace be upon them all, they all came with one message, love. To love each other. Love your neighbor. They all had the same message. Because they came during times of pure hatred. Pure evil. And the antidote to all of these issues. Are love. And it all starts when you love yourself. It is truly a remarkable feeling. And I think you should give it a try. To at least have a taste of what I'm talking about. As kids, I think we are naturally loving people. Like, you will rarely see a hateful kid unless that kid's been traumatized. Like, I, when I was a kid, I was the most loving person. All I wanted to do was make the people around me happy. And over time, as I grew up, I guess you could say I became more mature. And during that period, I think I developed false beliefs that hindered my hindered myself from loving myself and when you don't love yourself you can't truly be happy like everything you do is not enough and you constantly feel like there's something missing love yourself love people love your creator it is truly remarkable. It is truly one of the most powerful emotions there is. Love literally brings another human being into existence. That is how powerful love is. And I think in this day and age, we've lost touch with something as powerful as love. We've been blinded by these distractions to fight amongst each other. We've been, we've been blinded. We've been escaping. I truly believe that in order for an addict, like wh whatever your addiction may be, it all stems from lack of love, not accepting your, your, yourself, your whole parts, even the parts that you don't like about yourself, and accepting it and loving it. Until you do that, I don't think you can move forward in your life. And if you think from the lens of love, so if you view the world with the lens of love, all you will see is peace and happiness and optimism. They would chuck stones at the prophet and he would look back at them and smile. These influential people that we read about, these influential people that have truly impacted each one of us. Their philosophy and what, and what their mission was, was to bring love to the world. To bring love in, in the world of darkness, in a world of hatred. That is the mission. And 
I think that should be everyone's mission. I think that is the mission that I will strive towards by making these videos to spread love. Thank you for watching.